Hello and welcome back to another EDH deck tech idea. Today I'm featuring Adeline Resplendent Kafar. She is a free mana 0-4 with Vigilance and her power is equal to the numbers of creatures we control. Whenever you attack, for each opponent create a 1-1 white human creature token that's tapped in attacking that player or planeswalker they control. That means if you are playing her in a commander game and you still have free opponents, on attack you create free 1-1 white human creature tokens. Which definitely incentivizes us to play as a mono white token deck, where we want to win as fast as possible with an army of human tokens. We are going to win by playing cards like Falia's Lieutenant, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one, and when it enters the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on each human you control. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control put a 1-1 one, one counter on Falia's Lieutenant. Court Street Denizen, a free mana 2-2 two, two, and whenever another white creature enters the battlefield under your control tap target creature on opponent controls. This common is really powerful in this deck, because for now those tokens that Adeline creates on attack are still 1-1s and might be blocked easily. But due to Court Street Denizen we can clear the path by tapping down our opponent's creatures. Champion of the Parish, a 1 mana 1-1 one, one, and whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Champion of Parish. Gold Knight Commander, a 4 mana 2-2 two, two, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Gold Knight Commander is definitely one of our win cons, because as soon as we attack with Adeline and create 3 one, 1 white human creature tokens, all of our creatures get plus 3 plus 3 until end of turn. Roaming Throne, a 4 mana 4-4 four, four with War 2. Who would have guessed that we are playing this card in a tribal deck? Because as it enters the battlefield we choose humans as our creature type and if a triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. Copper Code Vanguard, a 2 mana 2-2 two, two, and each other human you control gets plus 1 plus 0 and has Ward 1. A nice little anthem effect on a creature with some additional protection due to the Ward 1. We really need to step on the gas with this deck, which requires us to keep our hand filled up. So we play cards like Rumor Gatherer, a 3 mana 2-1 with Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry 1. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, draw a card instead. Welcoming Vampire, a 3 mana 2 free with flying and whenever one or more other creatures with power 2 or less enter the battlefield under your control draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. Mentor of the Meek, a 3 mana 2 2 and whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control you may pay 1 if you do draw a card. Skullclamp, a 1 mana artifact equipped creature gets plus 1 minus 1 and whenever a equipped creature dies draw 2 cards. Idol of Oblivion, a 2 mana artifact, you can tap it to draw a card, but you can only activate this ability if you created a token this turn. You can also pay 8 mana, tap it and sacrifice it to create a 10-10 colorless Eldrazi creature token. Benny Brex Zoologist, a 4 mana free 2 with Convoke and at the beginning of each end step, if you created a token this turn, draw a card. Our opponents cannot wait to wipe the board with an army of tokens on our side, so we also play powerful enchantments to recover quickly. Flowering of the White Tree, a 2 mana legendary enchantment and legendary creatures you control get plus 2 plus 1 and have ward 1. Non-legendary creatures we control get plus 1 plus 1. Anointed Procession, a great way to rebuild really quickly, a 4 mana enchantment and if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. Inspiring Leader, free mana legendary enchantment background and commander creatures you own have creature tokens you control get plus 2 plus 2. Intangible Virtue, 2 mana enchantment and creature tokens you control get plus 1 plus 1 and have vigilance. Chivalric Alliance, a 2 mana enchantment, whenever you attack with 2 or more creatures draw a card. You can also pay 2 mana and discard a card to create a 2 2 white and blue knight creature token with vigilance. Federal Retreat, a 4 mana enchantment with landfall, so whenever land enters the battlefield under your control choose 1. Either you create a 2 2 white cat beast creature token, or you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control and those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. Let's get the most out of Adeline's attack trigger. Oja attack, deepest foundation, a 6 mana 6-6 six, six vigilance and if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, three times that many of those tokens are created instead. Or you can also play Mondrak, Glory Dominus, a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, and if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. For one generic and two white Phyrexian mana and sacrificing two other artifacts and or creatures, put an indestructible counter on Mondrak Glory Dominus. 
You want to win more? You get it. Kafar's Crusade, a 5 mana enchantment, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite, a 7 mana 4 7 with vigilance, and other creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2, and creatures your opponents control get minus 2 minus 2. Moonshaker Cavalry, an 8 mana 6 6 flying, and when it enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain flying and get plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is the number of creatures you control. Divine Visitation, a 5 mana enchantment, and if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many 4-4 white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. True Conviction, a 6 mana enchantment, and creatures you control have double strike and lifelink. Another really powerful and flexible card is Virtue of Loyalty, a 5 mana enchantment, and at the beginning of your end step put a plus 1 plus 1 count on each creature you control and untap those creatures. It also has an instant side for 2 mana where you create a 2-2 two, two white knight creature token with vigilance. Alright guys, these were a few cards that I would play in Adeline Resplendent Kafar. Let me know down in the comments below which cards you would add to the deck, which legendary creature I shall feature next, and then I would say see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.